Good evening, fellow YouTubers and Reloaders. Reloading Bench back with you once again, and this video is probably going to be a two-parter. And uh, before I start with what I have in front of me, I wanted to make a comment about uh, a Hornady product. And I love this scale, and it's an older... Boy, I've had this one a long time. This was uh, my first albeit this is the second one of that first um, electronic scales i think the first one failed after a year and a half or something to which i learned that's what hornady's chinese made stuff only has the one-year warranty as opposed to lifetime for like the press so electronics are you know standard one-year warranty no biggie but this the scale has never failed me and i love this scale but i stumbled across uh, hornady's 2021 offerings on their site and they've got what i would call it, it's called the m2 bench scale and i don't know if that means model two but it's a refresh of this and when i first saw it because of how small the picture looked it looks like a more compact version of this which is cool um and my first thought was uh wow that's cool uh one can never have too many backup scales let's pick that up or at least let's poke around and see uh, because usually when Hornady announces something it takes like forever for it to actually ship so they're they're like Microsoft years ago uh, vaporware Hornady will announce something and then seven months later it ships uh, or they'll announce 2021 stuff and it's it, it's forever in a day whereas like Lee Lee last year when they announced the APP they started shipping in uh, late December early January so they weren't too far off the mark but uh, I expect this Hornady product to, to be delayed as long as the uh, uh, Auto Charge Pro was, forever and a day. So I'm not really holding my breath. But uh, the reason I'm babbling about it is because I thought it was cool enough that, oh, I, you know, I don't like battery scales because they chew through batteries. So I like electronic scales, plug-in scales, uh, AC-operated scales. And uh, I thought, all right, I'm going to pick that up. <laughs> that was until I saw the price. So this one, I think when it first came out, was like a buck and change. I want to say you can find this in the high 70s, maybe low 80s. And I might be completely off, so don't take me for face value on that one. Because I haven't purchased one of these in like seven, eight years. But uh, maybe when I do the part two of this, I'll look for the current price of this. Uh, suffice to say, I think you can find this for less than 100 bucks. And uh, I thought the new one because it's it appears to be a scaled down version because I can't see it next to somebody's hand so I'm you know I'm I'm judging by the size of the powder tin and how the display is set up so it looks like it's maybe a third uh, or a half or even significantly more maybe maybe two thirds this size uh, two thirds smaller than this size um, so I thought yeah that's pretty cool a nice smaller version smaller footprint of this. And the price that I'm seeing online, if you go and look for Hornady M2 bench scale, is like $165, $185. F that. So that's not happening. At least I don't think it is. So let's get to the contents of this video. Um, actually, it's more like let's get to the contents of this package. So I think you guys will remember a few months ago, I, uh, I found some rusty as hell uh, older RCBS I think these were 223. Um, and I wonder when I look at the, the documentation, um, there's no dates on documentation, you know, like an ISBN book. Yeah, you just don't see any dates on documentation. So uh, the way you date Hornady dies, <clears throat> I've been told, is. Uh, you look for the number, the one or two digit number on the top of the die. And this looks like it's, a, it's either a six or an eight. I'm old and my eyes are shitty. Let's see if this one's a little more visible. So that looks like, actually it might be a five. It's definitely not an eight. Since it looks like an S, I'm going to go with 5. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, if this even focuses. This has a terrible autofocus when it's 
really, really close. So I'm going to say, yeah, this is a five. That's definitely a five. Okay, so these are five. So I'm going to say that these were made in 2005, 15 years ago. Um, and I've, uh, I'm, 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 uh, I'll, I'll call it dye neutral. Um, I don't believe in overpaying for dyes, so I won't go and buy a Dylan dye because it's a hundred dollars when I can buy a set of Lee dyes that in my opinion, and there's, there's the, there's the qualifier. My opinion are just as good for what I do. And again, I don't match shoot. I don't shoot match. I'm not shooting long distance. I mean, there's a whole host of reasons I buy the dyes that I buy. So you buy the dyes that you want to buy and you spend the money that you want to spend. And I'm cool with that. That's okay. But, um, I don't like to overpay for dyes. And, um, the reason I picked these particular dyes up was because they were rusty as shit and I wanted a project, which, if you recall, uh, came out really nice. So I had also heard great things about older RCBS dyes, uh, or if you're going to get RCBS dyes, get the older ones. Um, again, I'll, I'll leave that to everybody's personal preferences or, or whatever. And... Um, Again, I've seen bashing on some of the forums of newer versions of the dye and dyes, and I don't know where the newer versions are made. And quite frankly, I don't know what the cutoff date is between, you know, for these folks who say that the older RCBS dyes are better than the newer RCBS dyes, again, depending on where they're made. Obviously, the older dyes are all steel. Excuse me, newer dyes being, at least for the sizing, carbide-based. So... I came across, and then the reason I have these two out here is when you look at the case, uh, this is a 15-year-old design, 15-year-old uh, case, uh, original, and it uh, doesn't even come with a shell holder, and it's a two-die set, and comes with instructions, some of your load data card, and then uh, my, uh, my little desiccants. So two die set, it looks like this was uh, what was available, and these are from uh, 2005, so 15 years ago, because it's 2020 right now, almost 2021. I came across uh, somebody selling, uh, and I didn't know the age of the dies, sight unseen, it was just a you know statement, uh, uh, RCBS, decent condition, and based on what they were, uh, in terms of... Uh, the uh, size, uh, the caliber rather, um, I thought, oh, I'm going to grab those. Not Again, not knowing the age or condition uh, other than a, 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 uh, a one-line description. And everybody has a different version of description. So, you know, RCBS, Omark Industries. Uh, RCBS, Precision Engineered, Reloading Dies, Omark Industries. So this is a much older case, and I think the other half of the label are third of the label is actually in the case this is a much older case completely different in design all the way down to this this lever is actually funny because it doesn't it, it doesn't play nice so i actually had to get a blade to get under there just enough to lift it and i mean it's so you can see the plastic it's just a shitty shitty design uh, for what it is, considering you'd be opening and closing, potentially, eh, maybe not. You'd open it once and put them in the die holder, whatever. So, point being, this is a, this is an older, in my opinion, set of dies. Uh, this is an older set than this is. So, when I opened it up, I was, and, and one of the reasons I, I wanted it, two of the reasons. One, um, it's a caliber I use. It's uh, 45 ACP, one of my favorite calibers. Um, plus the potential for older stuff. So obviously there's a different lock ring on here than, than the newer version. Similar in concept, you know, you still have uh, an Allen key uh, nut in there to lock it down on the threads, but uh, it's a completely different design. Um, and I know it's original because there's the picture. So uh, this die set really attracted me for uh, one, it was 45 ACP. 
Um, two was a three die set and everything I saw online um, newer did not include and this is kind of what sold me on it this is got to be the kitsy ish thing cute little thing it is the shell holder that doesn't come with uh, the dies any longer and I don't know if this actually came again this is that shitty little I should probably just not close it because you can tell that this is it's only a few few more openings from breaking when you look at how stressed that uh, plastic is but isn't that the cutest little thing um, I mean it's older it's you can tell it's in need of some TLC but I thought that was the coolest thing and when's the last time you saw this this reminds me of my youth in the 70s when you used to have a label maker and it was a little handheld thing kind of like a uh, priming device but it had a dial on it and you would just turn it to the letter then you would clamp it and it would print the letter then you would twist it to the next letter clamp it print or twist clamp and you just twist 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 till you had your word um, and that was uh, the label maker par excellence of the 70s in my opinion so that tells me again I'm, I'm, I'm dating myself to 70s ish as soon as I saw that <clears throat> and again to see that in the collection um, then to see the dies and the dies are just in great shape I was expecting them to be a little more beat up but uh, what was really cool was when I started looking at uh, the top so let's look at uh, a cedar bullet cedar again rcbs 45 acp bullet seating die whoops let me rephrase that to uh resizing die different uh newer newer technology and i will compare the seating die looks like uh this is the cedar <laughs> yeah and you can see the uh, that looks like it's for a swaged flat head which I will be popping out because I don't I don't know that I would actually use these uh, again it was more for the the cool factor but um, again looking this over what really jumped out at me was um, when I looked at some of the others the the year stamp and I don't know if you can make that up but that's 77 so these are from in my opinion 77 1977 I was a mere lad of 12 ish uh, that's cool so for those who feel that uh, the newer RCBS dies are junky ish I think 2000 I wouldn't call 2005 newer um, I don't know what I'd label newer but 1977 is definitely not newer and these dies I, I would probably clean them with just brake cleaner to be honest um, there is maybe maybe do something with the uh, with the lock ring but there is nothing I mean these are in amazing shape all things considered that might be a little bit of a rust ring I'll have to take a closer look at that this is not the best uh... yeah that might be a little bit of rust in there um, but not pitted rust discoloration these are in really excellent shape all, again all things considered and if they were made yeah this is the seating day and it looks like uh, so when I pull that out I'm gonna see if that is let's see what we get when we when we pull that out 
we're probably not going to be able to pull it out because it's probably going to have to come out and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that out I don't have a thin enough screwdriver right at the moment to walk that out but that does look like it's a flat swaged so not not my standard 230 grain round nose let's see what the instructions might say so yeah relatively clean I mean for 77 for being uh, what's what's 77 uh, let's just say 75 so that's uh, 25 40 45 38 years old that's pretty awesome I think if my math is right, uh, 77, 87, 97, two, uh, four, no, 40, 70, 43. Yeah, there you go, Common Core Public School math. Let's see what we've got. Bullet seating. What do we have here? 10. What is that? Is that 10? Cedar plug. So the cedar plug looks like my first thought is looks like what's the difference? So this is the set I have. This is, looks like, this is the cedar, excuse me, cedar. This is the decap die, uh, and this is a different design of the decap that is very similar to this one. And it says the three die, this three die set uh, differs from the three die set shown on page 10 and that the first die both resizes and decaps the case the second die expands the case mount to receive the bullet and the third die seats the bullet and crimps if necessary so what does this say uh, reloading straight wall type cases requires three die sets instead of two because it's not possible to expand the mouth of the case in a sizer die. In this three die set, the first die resizes only. The second, oh wow. So I was calling this the resize uh, and decap. So apparently this just decaps. This just resizes. Ah, so that's, uh, and the third one expands the case wow i don't even have a cedar die here ha so yeah this is not going to be really usable uh this is more for uh collector kitsch that's funny so i don't even have the ability to seat but that doesn't make sense because this looked like it's a cedar die In this three die set, the first die resizes. So that would be this resize. The second die decaps the case and expands the case mouth of the bullet. Oh yeah, the okay, so the third die does seat. I was right. All right, so this is the seater. So order of operations is resize. Wow, that would really eat up a press decap seat and then the fourth would be a crimp all right that's yeah i don't think i'm going to do a cleaning on these uh cleaning in the sense of you know any chemical or bead blasting uh, if anything i think i might just wipe these down and put a coat of uh again wipe it down and put a coat of 
uh, Ezox, and then uh, throw some desiccant in there. Uh, this one definitely needs to be clean, so I, I will do something a little more robust with that. Uh, I'm just not sure which. It's <laughs> even rusty stuff on the plastic. All right, so that's the cool factor. I'm not going to lock that down because that piece of plastic looks like it's going to break. So does this piece right here. Um, that is uh, a walk down memory lane for our CBS and an old set of dies from my Ute. Yeah, 43. Yeah, based on my age. Minus 12. Yeah, these are 43 years old. I think that's pretty cool for 43 years old. And I would say that 43 years ago, things were made to a much higher quality and standard than they are today. So if somebody said to me, would you rather have 43-year-old dies, steel dies, versus 2020 carbon, uh, carbide rather, dies, I don't know. Uh, depends on what I'm doing in terms of uh, what I would choose. But uh, the cool factor of this is um, pretty cool. All right, I am done for tonight babbling. So we're good. Walk down memory lane. More old stuff.